one of the more recent ones that um, we've been, I've been involved with in just the last couple of years is where um, in New York Harbor, there's an island called Governor's Island. And uh, it's a, it looks like an ice cream cone from the air. And all of the um, old colonial buildings are at, in the ice cream part. And then the cone was like the parade grounds and all these barracks used to be on it. And they were built, I think, originally in the, around the Civil War. And so, you know, had troops in them through the years. I think the last time they had actually any troops in was just after the end of World War II. And then they'd been kind of left um, and they got very run down and they were condemned. So they were trying to figure out what to do with these buildings and they decided what they would do is tear them all down and crush them all up. And then put them in big piles on the end of the island. So they were building mountains. I, I love it. Mountains, 70 foot tall mountains. Well, to New Yorkers, apparently those are mountains. So those of us who live in here in the Cascades, it's a little, hmm, okay, foothills. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, in, in relative to the place it is, it's now, how do you vegetate that? It's crushed up rubble from buildings. How do you put plants on there and make it actually grow and look beautiful? So that was kind of the um, charge that they put out. And uh, one of my um, advisors, Todd Harrington, um, answered the challenge. So working with a large landscape company, um, they brought in some uh, engineered soil. And when Todd told me that one, I kind of rolled my eyes and went, right, that's engineered dirt. Call it what it is. There is no biology in that stuff at all. And they leveled off the top of these hills and they had some nice elevation, you know, sharp cliffs and rolling cliffs and stuff. Um, and so now, here, here you go, we want a native grassland here and we want a conifer forest and we want a deciduous forest and we want this kind of uh, shrubbery here, we want these native plants here. And so they, you know, the architect had all the plants drawn in and now you have to go out there and establish that. Well, most of us know that if you tried to do that on engineered dirt, that it would be utter failure. That there would just be massive erosion and most of the, the engineered dirt that had been put on the top of the rubble underneath is just gonna wash off into the ocean, into the harbor on all sides. It, it'd just be horrific. Well, kind of like what happens in California when it burns, um, nothing to hold. And so it just washes away. So um, Todd, looking at this, said he's gonna apply biological principles, so a food web approach. And so made compost for each of those ecosystems with the biology in it for each of the sets of plants that were desired in that area. So there were big areas of, of grassland and native grasslands and there was a ballpark. And so all of the biology going on to these places, either is compost or where they planted the plants, they would put the compost around those plants because of course they were buying plants from nurseries that were grown in, you know, uh, conventional inorganic fertilizer, uh, potting mix, basically sterile. And so he's putting in all of the biology that needs to go into those systems, injecting the um, mycorrhizal fungi if they were required. And so today when you go to this area, um, people from New York City flock there on weekends because it's beautiful. It's, they're back in um, conifer forests, they're back in deciduous forests, they're in the native grasslands. It's, um, everything had biology applied to it except for one of the face, sloping faces, there was a control that was left. And that's the only place they had any slope failures was in the conventional system where they were using inorganic fertilizers and pesticides to try to control the vegetation that they were, they were putting on. So it, within the course of basically one growing season, they took this horrific dirt and by the addition of this biology, they could put in all of the plants and natives, all of the trees are natives, everything on there in the, in the park except for the ballpark area, um, has been brought back to a condition of health um, infiltration into the soil is excellent. 
um, some of the roots are starting to grow into the uh, crun crunched up rubble, no problem, because the biology's there before them. So Todd has some really great pictures where he goes through all of this and making the compost so that all the right organisms are being selected for. He would actually take his compost and grow the plants for the system. He would actually grow those plants in the compost before he planted them out. Wow. And so very successful in that kind of approach.